congratulations. Uh, that was a very good win for them, I would think. Maybe it's not a good win when you play, but uh, they they made plays. They made plays. We got a four point lead, I think, 47 43, and Adam Woodbury makes uh, three baskets in a row. We get it to 51 uh, 51. Marcus misses a shot and we miss twice in a row from six inches. Then we go down and foul them and, uh, and make the first free throw and miss the second. And, uh, two guys over there are supposed to be uh, boxing out and we let him get the rebound and the foul and he makes two free throws. So they go three and get it back at 55 and miss a layup at that time. Um, they were just so much more aggressive and uh, going after the ball now offensive boards. It's uh, very frustrating. One offensive rebound in the first half and 16 in the second half. Um, but again, they made plays. Adam made a couple of big shots and made their free throws. Uh, 21 out of 24 from the line is one of the things we talked about is playing defense without fouling. And, uh, I just got to congratulate them. I'm not very pleased right now. So. Did you like the majority of your looks offensively? No, not at all. Can't just be the jump shooting team guys standing around and out moving inside. Mm -hmm. Run a set play one time, guy didn't go the wrong direction, so I said, Why should I play? You got to get guys who are supposed to be good basketball players, got to play on me. Before last week, you questioned the toughness after Butler, you do the same. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It's, uh, they wanted it more than we did. That's a sorry thing to say. It's a sad thing to say. But, uh, you're, uh, 12 points on offense, rebounds, 16 re offensive rebounds in the second half. And, you know, again, we still had opportunities and we, uh, we missed some opportunities. Uh, even at the end, you know, we were trying to get two guys to go screen for Marcus and both of them start and stop, start and stop. It was almost like a comment. It's uh, so cool and very fun to me. You mentioned the uh, missing twice and six inches there. Those close and misses, is there something to worry about or is that just kind of kind of pick itself over time? Or? How do you feel about that? Pissed off. I don't know how to fix it. If I'm six inches away, I'm going to make the dad come back. That's how I fix it. I'm going to make the dad come back. Can you, can you, can you coach? The, the, the ribbon on. How, how tough was it for you tonight to be out there after, after yesterday? Uh-huh. Look, that's a, that's a tough question. It was tough. There's no question. It's been a, it's been a hard time, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't play. I did got to do a better job coaching. But, uh, that guy's one of my best friends in my entire life. Uh, shows that basketball is not really that important. A lot of times it's important to me and the guys in the locker room right now. But, uh, uh, Ted Seagrove was one of those wonderful, wonderful human beings. I would say that he was more people really need Ted Seagrove than they do Roy Williams or Larry Fedora. And uh, he didn't get quite the publicity that we get. Uh, but I've got to do a better job coaching my team. Uh, life hands you a lot of things that you got to be able to handle. This is something that we got to handle. I appreciate you asking. How much can you coach toughness? We'll find out. <laughs> got a phone and call somebody and tell them to quit freaking calling. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough time trying to coach a team. Coach, it seems kind of trivial, but why did you switch ties at half? I, I, I don't like to get involved in, in all these things, changing <laughs> uniforms and shoes, and, but it's the world we live in, college athletics, every day we've got to do something to make 13 cents. <laughs> and I despise it from the bottom of my soul. Said I'll wear a green tie, and it's a wonderful cause. I got my we recycle so much more. I got ten tons of recycling every week, three in three ounces of garbage. But uh, I just get tired of that stuff. I want to be a basketball coach. But we got to make 13 cents so we can do, have 28 sports here at this university. And it's it's hard. But I changed ties at halftime because I didn't like the way we played, and uh, we played a little better the second half and quit playing the last five minutes. Keith Langford played for the defense, changed shoots at halftime. He didn't play well in the first half, and he always thought it was better for him. So I thought that try worked since the time. It had nothing to do with it. Coach, to follow up on Andrew's question, 
Have you had success coaching toughness before? You've been coaching for a while. Yeah, I've been coaching for a while. It's, it's right. It, it seems like tonight was about 15 years worth. Uh, you know, you, you just got to get guys that want to compete and you know, take guys in, put guys in, and other guys sit down. And that's one way to teach it. But, and you didn't do very well tonight because we set a lot of guys on the bench because they weren't being productive. But, uh, <coughs> It's got to be a continual thing. I mean, you got two guys boxing out one guy on the free throw, and that guy beats the two guys boxing out on the free throw. So at some point, you got to decide how important it is to you. And that's something that I can't do. I, I know how important it is to me. There's some other people that make their decisions too. How much? With the offensive putbacks, and Bryce in particular, he's struggling putting the ball back. How much of that is an element of toughness? I don't know. That's, Bryce is one for seven, you know, he just got to jump up. You know, guys were talking about six inch putts. You got to focus and make the day. You know, it's, uh, you gotta, if I knew uh, all those things that go on inside the young man's brain, we never would have lost. Never. I said this before I majored in physical education because I thought that's what you were supposed to major in as a coach. <laughs> you know, you're not major in psychology. Probably could be a better coach. You may not know how many lockers you need to have, but uh, may not be able to coach gymnastics or teach somebody how to do a forward roll or <laughs> what an FA is in fencing. But uh, I think I'd be better off if I can figure out how to get a guy to make one from six inches. Uh, thank, thank you. you. We're done. We're done. Thank you.